<clears throat> Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that remote. We're going to talk about your health, now, especially men. Now, all the men, get over to your TV, watch what's going on. All the wives, call your husbands and tell them to get the TV. Because we're going to talk about men's health. Health. You know, what's the biggest, one of the biggest problems, I guess, is uh, men's problem is prostate cancer, colon cancer, a lot of others. But they're the key things. And uh, I, can, I can talk with experience. I had colon cancer, and they gave me chemo. And I survived. Then I got prostate cancer, got radiation, I survived. I'm still bobbing and weaving. So I know how important it is, and I'm just turned 90, so I'm very happy that uh, the hospitals and the doctors all take care of me. But uh, the guy upstairs, he's uh, he's he's help out a little bit there too. You know, he just leaves it up to the doctors, okay? So our show today is about awareness, okay? You know, be aware and uh, let's talk about health. We also talk about Christmas is coming up, too. Be aware of your surroundings. Lock your doors. When you're walking along, make sure if guys following you, something, get into a lighted area. You know, be aware what's going on. Have a happy Christmas. But the thieves, they kind of like Christmas because that's, they figure everybody's, you know, thinking about everything else but their own protection. So we're here to talk about your health and also your protection. Now, in this corner... And uh, I'm going to introduce him like to do in Madison Square Garden. Kyle Fischerowski. Did I pronounce that right? That is very correct. Man, man. I like that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, you are, you jumped in both feet on this and helping out here and making the lawyers. Now, tell me, and it, it has a title, Movember. Correct. Movember. M. Movember. Correct, Hank. What is that all about? Movember is something here in the past, I would say, 10 years has come about basically by word of mouth. Um, and in the past, I would say, three to four years, there has been uh, websites created, one of them specifically being uh, us.movember.com, uh, which is what I am currently participating in. And uh, what this uh, Movember website does is um, you can uh, raise awareness by just like clicking links and uh, just seeing the different types of men's health issues that are out there. Um, along with the, um, the, the links, you can also sign up for the websites and join teams where you can accept donations and uh, you can also have personal websites through Movember.com where you can accept donations and just pass your information along and just basically give a general overview on why you are um, participating in this Movember movement. Yeah, well, now, how did you get involved in this? What, what gave you the, uh, the inspiration, the enthusiasm to do this? Uh, I was actually, uh, it was actually passed along to me two years ago um, actually from a female friend. So even though it's men's health awareness, it is actually... No, women, ev everyone breast can, cancer, e right. right yeah, everyone, everyone can participate. It's not just for men. Uh, basically, uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that I did... The, the idea behind Movember is that a lot of uh, the men that do join and do uh, uh, participate in Movember, a lot of them like to... Uh, grow beards and okay. did you forget the shade this morning? I, it's or what? a little, it's a little scruffy. I went with the uh, the mustache look this mo this this November. So how long um, are you gonna keep it on? Uh, it's only for the month. Oh, I am not the month of November. I am, I'm, That's why they call it Movember. <laughs> yeah, correct. For three hundred. Yeah, I can't grow a beard. I tried <laughs> to do it, but I can't. I was gonna say maybe beard. next next year, two thousand fourteen. I was gonna say maybe you can grow uh, something nice. I, nice I, can, Adams I can grow beard. my fingernails and, uh, and toenails, <laughs> but I can't grow a beard. Yeah. I don't know what to scoop. Yeah, I, 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 I went with the mustache this year. It's kind of, it's very lighter than my hair color. It's, yeah. I don't know, I'm not a very big fan uh, of it, but it's ultimately used as a marketing tool for the website because you see someone like me who 330 days out of the year, they're clean shaven. Um, you know, a few months into, or a few weeks into uh, November, they're kind of, you know, People are coming up to me, my coworkers, my friends, and hey, you know, why? What's with the mustache? And yeah, that's yeah. that's what I can bring up about Movember and what I'm doing here. Well, now, you told me how you how you found out about it, about this girl, right? Correct, correct. And, From uh, a very good now, friend of mine. And what what, what is what, what's her name? What's this? Uh, her name was Jessica. 
Jessica. Her, yes, her and name is Jessica, and she. Well, how did she? What was her? Uh, what, her she actually she actually found out uh, again word of mouth through friends, and uh, actually her father. The reason that she participates is that her father was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and uh, she just wanted to pass along and again raise awareness and take right. donations in. And uh, her father actually, uh, like much like yourself, beat it. And he's now uh, doing well and uh, fine, and he is uh, doing just great uh, moving forward and trucking along. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I, I've been very fortunate all my life being a police officer and uh, motorcycles, walking the beat and the whole bit, and, uh, uh, and a pretty good health. I was a former amateur professional boxer and always kept myself in good shape. And the first time, and every time I would take a test, everything was all right until took one test and uh, said that I had cancer. Mm -hmm. So it was a little, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, uh, I didn't realize, you know, <clears throat> although some people think, well, you're going to die. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thank God I didn't die. But I think it, you have to uh, keep yourself uh, mentally in shape and physically. Correct. So get a, well, I'm not a doctor, you're not a doctor, but I'm saying get checked out. When in doubt, check it out. That is and, correct. You know, don't wait too long. And uh, because it's, it's there, if it's there, let's find it, let's get rid of it, you know. And now we have this awareness. Okay, now tell me what kind of programs and donations and all, what the, what, 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 you've got a lot of, uh, uh, what they call it. You know, there's a lot of people that don't have uh, a web uh, or a computer, mm -hmm. okay? So get your niece, your nephew, your grandson, your, grand, your neighbor, and ask them to write something up on the, on the computer. Right. I hear people say, well, I don't have a computer. Come on, get these young people with it or, you know, they know how to work. I'm, I'm a dinosaur. I only know, only know certain things about the computer. I can send a mail, we read the mail, boom, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. So get some help. And that's Awareness what, is help, bob and weave. Correct. A lot of this is, <clears throat> like we said, all of it just from word of mouth. A lot of this is word of mouth. So that's how a big part of this program, since it's just been up and coming and it's just been formed in pretty much the past <clears throat> Uh, five to ten years, a lot of it is word of mouth. So, uh, telling your friends, your family, your coworkers about what the uh, the website's all about, and having them then research it, and then go maybe visit the site. They can uh, browse the website, and that's when they can find out a little yeah. bit more about uh, men's health issues. And you know, like you said, getting yourself checked if there's any issues, and how right, often right. you should be checked. Mm. And yeah, don't don't panic. You know, uh, you know, it, because everybody thinks, well, you get cancer, well, you now you're gonna you're gonna die to death that sentence and this warrant, whatever you want to call it. No, you know, you can, you can help yourself. But awareness and, and to be able to make a contact with someone that can help you, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the name of the game, mm -hmm. you know. Now, you know, I, one other thing. Yesterday, uh, the, the students here at Northtown High School, we went over to power back at uh, the nursing home or what do you want to call it, uh, a senior, it's a, it helps people, you know, once they, have an operation they want to re rehab or so. It's a short, short term. Mm -hmm. And they had two uh, hockey players, you know, <clears throat> uh, Benny, Benny Perrette and uh, Joe, Joe Watson. And they, they were very active uh, players. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I wasn't surprised, but they were in good health. And they spoke good, they had a good memory, talked about the names of the players and the dates and everything. So. They're, they're taking care of themselves, and that's that's so. I mean, it's okay. You got to worry about the economy. You got to worry about this. You got to worry. Take care of yourself. Number one, if you got your health, you got everything. Okay. Now, what else? Now, you got a team people working, to, uh, raising money. Correct. Yes, we <coughs> actually have. Uh, I am on a part of a team uh, of. <coughs> Um, on the, I'm sorry, on the uh, Movember website, you can be, just have your own <coughs> personal site or you can join a team. I'm actually, I have my own personal site, but I also am part of a, a team. Um, this team is consisted of about, I believe it's 23 uh, different unique people. So there's 23 people on the team, which like I said before, is ha does have female uh, participants and male participants, which is pro predominantly male uh, uh, yeah. people on the, on the team. But we've raised as a team so far in donations just shy of about four thousand uh, dollars, and we're about it's all grassroots stuff. Correct. Right? Yes, we're <laughs> we're about uh, twenty. Yeah. We're about uh, 
20 days, we're in 20th day here in November, and we're about $4,000. Our initial goal was $3,000, so we've surpassed that already. So, you know, might as well keep shooting for the stars and, you know, right. keep that, uh, uh, keep making the goal a little bit higher and try and push, you know, the, push I, the limit. We talk about people uh, checking themselves out in within the last past year or so. Norristown, Bridgeport, Lower Providence, new chiefs of police, you know, <laughs> and they're all left. They left the department in good shape mm -hmm. and they can enjoy life, you know, and that's taking care of yourself. So, all right, now tell me something about yourself. <clears throat> I don't know what, I got something in my throat here that uh, won't come out. Boom! Okay. Allah <laughs> <clears throat> Zalud. Go ahead. Sure. I um, work for a local uh, medical device company uh, as a pricing <clears throat> analyst. Uh, just, you know, in my spare time, I enjoy reading just uh, a lot of uh, historic literature, a lot of uh, 1940s and beyond. So it's been really into uh, philosophical books as of late, and I think that kind of helps me with my job as well as in real life, kind of thinking outside the box, and taking things from different advantages and just noticing things from a different uh, viewpoint. So that's one of the things that I've really taken to as of recently. Right. How about now, you, you, your dad was a boxer or so? Uh, my, my, sir, my, my, my grandfather. Which grandfather. Is, grandfather. And that's, uh, he was an amateur boxer uh, in Coatesville growing up. Coatesville, oh, Coatesville. In Coatesville, Pennsylvania. And uh, to touch back on the uh, Movember, uh, the basis of this, the men's health issue, Unfortunately, uh, my grandfather did pass away this past year, back in March, uh, on March 20th. He uh, did have, he actually passed away due to complications from prostate cancer. So that's another reason why I have elected to participate in this uh, Movember event this year and try to raise awareness right, and try right. to uh, uh, bring in donations to all of these foundations and programs where they do additional research for prostate cancer, testicular cancer, colon cancer, and mental health issues. So yeah. that was, uh, he was a, a big, a big uh, hero of mine, very close to me. Like I said, he was an amateur boxer. So uh, it was, you know, yeah, I had something hit, common hit, with him. That, yeah, that yeah. Boxer. Hit, hit very close to home. <clears throat> hit very close to home when he passed away this year. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything when he in his final days. But I figured that, you know, joining this uh, website, zip, right, right. joining <clears throat> this website, and <clears throat> just raising that gives awareness. You that zip. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Well, you know. Uh, when I, the first time I had uh, colon cancer, uh, they said, I mean, the cancer, colon cancer, they told me that uh, uh, well, they wasn't going to use radiation. <clears throat> and then I find out that the radiation at that time, it would hit that where the cancer, the cancer was here, it would, it would hit here, but sometimes it would damage the circles until they got a new machine. Mm -hmm. I can't think of the name of the machine, but it zeroed right in to where it was. So. Okay. The first time that I had the, the cancer, I used the old machine, or they used the old machine, and, and I, I, I survived. Mm -hmm. The second time, it, the Asian hit right the spot, it didn't damage anything else. So it's been advancement. Yes. Now. <clears throat> the medical profession, advancements. Now, I, I had the first time I had hip replacement. The first time, <clears throat> I was a lot of pain. I had to stay in the hospital almost a week. Mm -hmm. Recap was almost two or three weeks. Eight years later, the other hip <laughs> went on strike. <laughs> and <clears throat> so now the second time, I had less pain. I was only in the hospital three days. And when I rehab, I was driving the car within a week or so. Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> I said, what happened? Well, I don't have no pain. So they put something in the, in, the, uh, in the venus or something that would eliminate the pain and all. Okay. So, advancement and right. then the one thing was uh, was a metal one now the other one is kind of grows in so you know i, I don't know what, what uh, the next invention they're going to work on me i don't know what they're in, we're working on right now what's new <laughs> <laughs> and that's one it's one of the things <clears throat> working in working in the medical device uh, uh world i person it's i i see that all the time and i hear uh, patient reviews just coming back saying just the recovery of how quickly the recovery was in comparison to maybe previous surgeries. So that's one thing that I've seen and heard of just even in the past year being with the company that I'm with right now. Yeah. Well, what schools you go to? I graduate. I went to Boyertown High School. In Where? Bo Boyertown High School. Boyertown. Oh, in uh, Boyertown, Pennsylvania. And then I went to college at Alvernia University in Reading, Pennsylvania. What's the name of it? Alvernia University. What's that, a private? That is. It is, yes, right up there in Red. Do they so have a football team? They do not, actually. I, <laughs> they do not. Neighboring, the neighboring college, uh, Albright College, had a football team. 
Uh, but we focused primarily for the sports program, we focused on baseball and basketball. And uh, I was actually part of the baseball team there at Alvernia for uh, four years. Well, they think now that the more injuries in football, they might be eliminating some Right, that. right. They're, They're trying talking about that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, I don't know what's wrong with my voice, but this is not Cisco talking <laughs> here. I don't know where it's in there, someplace else. <laughs> so now, when you went to school, you... Now, we're in high school. We're in Northtown High School mm -hmm, right now. Correct. Students are watching. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what, 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 what uh, dropped the seed that you wanted to do what you're doing now? What, what did you do? Uh, when I was I, I really, in, when I was in high school, I had, I won't lie, I had no real plans as of being, being a senior in high school. I didn't really know where I wanted to go. And even when I got to college uh, at, at university, I, I I changed my major three different times before I figured out what I wanted to do. I graduated with a Bachelor of the Arts with business management with a minor in marketing. So out of, um, I graduated from Alvernia University and my first job was as an inventory uh, analyst for uh, WIS International, which is a third party inventory company. Uh -huh. So that was basically just my kind of a leap into the, you know the nine to five office world and you know administrative work and working closely with you know having a boss and then basically him delegating different projects to me. So it was a well, lot when of you were, when you were in high school, you when you were thinking about you talked to other people and the, and the guidance teacher, and what what the, how did you select like push this away and move over there sneak in here what. Uh, ultimately, I wanted to. What do you uh, do? Who do you? Who do you? Uh, I wanted to, are you, uh, in reference to basically the college and where you wanted to go to and what you wanted to do, is what you're uh, referring to. Yeah, like, like somebody say, well, I, I want to go to college. I want to go all the way out to Wyoming. That's you know? that's one that's of the. Big, thing. <laughs> I had a big influence from my parents there. They uh, they requested or they'd like to see that I'd stay closer to home. I right. I, 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 had, <clears throat> I received. I was accepted at. Um, at a university out towards Pittsburgh, um, which is still only about six hours yeah, away, yeah, but sure. my parents, Penn be, State too. yeah, <clears throat> my parents uh, were very influential on me, and they stated that they, you know, just you know, to give it a feel. Maybe you can always transfer after a year if you don't like it at the at the you know the local right, schools. Right. So that was one of the big things of my decisions of wanting to go to um, Alvernia University in Reading just because it was close to home. It's only about thirty to thirty-five minutes away from where I grew up. Um, still, I lived on campus, so I still... You I did, live on campus? I lived on campus, yeah, yeah so just so I could <laughs> still get well, the... Well, how'd you, how'd you pay for that? Uh, I, through grants from playing baseball as well as... Baseball? Correct, and also uh, based on... Um, got assistance from uh, my grandfather, who we spoke about earlier, who passed earlier oh, this yeah. year. So that's another big reason, you know, he's helped me out throughout my life, and that's another yeah. big reason as to I why. I think education is so important, you know. I, I didn't think education was important mm -hmm. when I was... I dropped out of school when I was in eighth grade, <laughs> and I had an eighth grade education. And uh, then I, I applied for a police job in Norristown, and the application said you have to have an eighth grade education. That's what you had, you need. Now you got to be a you know yeah. professor. Oh yeah. But I went there. I did 14 years in the police department, and finally somebody said you better get an education, you know, because you have to retire. Mm -hmm. So I took a GED. Mm -hmm. I failed first time, took it the second time, and then I went to uh, Montgomery County Community College, got an associate degree yep. in the police science. Okay. So it all comes in handy. You know, you got that diploma. You got that diploma where you go for a job, you can go there. That's why I try to emphasize on this show to the students, you're here in school, get that education mm -hmm. while you're here. Mm -hmm. Get it. Don't go walking around uh, just like you're in a shopping, uh, shopping cart. And you're walking around not putting anything in the shopping cart. You get to the end of there and there's nothing in there. <laughs> You've got it while you're in school. Get that education. Put it in your head. That way you'll, you'll be a success because it's rough out there. It's rough out there. So you can handle it as long as you got the education, know-how, experience. You know, knowledge, experience, and education. You know, you got that, put them together. You are a success. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working right. on it still. So young. now get back to this here... Um, Beard. Yeah. I was going to, uh, I, I was going to Halloween, I was going to get a fake beard, you know, <laughs> but I, I couldn't get it in time, you know. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I we got, well, maybe we can talk John Doyle into it. I don't think he wants it. Uh, he looks good with the beard. So uh, I don't want to, I don't want to encourage him to shave it off, you know, because uh, it really looks good, you know. So, 
All right, now, <clears throat> now people can help. Tell us a little bit more about that, how, how people can get more involved. Well, um, from the aforementioned uh, websites, basically, I can give you the uh, <clears throat> information here. Uh, the main website for Movember is us.movember.com. That's, so that's Movember with an M. So um, that's the main site. That's where you can peruse and just see what the whole movement is about and just mm -hmm. kind of has um, an information of all the charities that they uh, provide to, all the donations go to. Just basically says, uh, just gives an about us or what Mo Movember is really all about. I uh, personally have a team page, which I uh, mentioned earlier, which has uh, 23 participants on it. That, uh, that page link is actually is us.movember.com backslash team, T-E-A-M, uh, backslash 991-785. So us.movember.com US backslash team backslash 99178. I also have a personal page, um, which is usmovember.com backslash mospace, which is M-O-S-P-A-C-E backslash 7322941. So us.movember.com backslash mospace backslash 7322. That's a lot of pop, pop boobs yeah, in the last Yeah, 941. All right, now, this M-O-V-E-M-B-E-R. -E -E Correct. Movation. What? What's that? Well, it's just a play on obviously the month of November, but the, for the 30 days of November, you're the supposed M stands to for do mustache. 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 That's, that, that's why mustache. I went with. Oh, that's why I went. Them. That's why I went with mustache. And uh, frankly, a lot of people do the whole beard. Um, I know a lot of people in the mainstream media. I believe uh, Al Roker has been par participating in it, and uh, uh, Matt Lauer of the, the, the Good Morning shows. They've been yeah. participating. I think I'm pretty sure that they're just not shaving this month and letting them go, yeah, I themselves get a little bit. I think teachers in the North Town High School are involved. I saw a yep. couple of them walking around with it's, beards. It's, you know, really, it's and, really catching well, on. young beards, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they'll be, they'll be, they'll be uh, cutting them off before the end <laughs> of the month, right? Yeah, I, 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 won't, I won't lie. When it gets to, uh, when it gets to November 30th, I'll probably, when it hits midnight, I'm, I'll probably... Mm -hmm. Going oh, yeah. clean shaven again. You're gonna, you're gonna keep it going until. <laughs> uh, I'll keep it going until then. But you uh, know, we talked about Christmas, and then uh, another thing. Being a former policeman, I just want to pass this on to the, the drivers. When you're going shopping, your malls are going to be crowded. Your drive, don't get all upset when the traffic. You're stuck in traffic. You know, just maybe shop when uh, you think that less people will be around. But uh, don't get enjoy. Enjoy your holidays. Don't knock yourself out and be aware, you know, because it's, it's a season for joy. It's also a season for thieves. You know, I hate to say that, but uh, I don't want to scare you. Enjoy yourself. And that's another, right? and that can be very stressful, which increases <clears throat> health concerns and health issues. So it kind of ties right, into what right, we're discussing. Right. You know, you, you, take care, you take care of your health. It's, it's so important. And that can be, you can, you can worry yourself to death. It's mm -hmm. the same thing when I, First, uh, getting when I was getting the, what do you call it, the uh, chemo, mm -hmm. and I was sitting next to a lady. Was she was she had cancer real bad, you know, and she was getting she was real pale, and and I'm looking at, for for four, 45 minutes. I'm just standing there looking. I, I got so depressed, mm -hmm. you know, and, and and you can you can knock yourself out. Right. And uh, finally, it, it was I told the doctor, please change me so I don't have to look at this lady mm -hmm. all the time, and I found out later that that. Uh, after I left getting my treatment, I was feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. Then she came back, you know, oh my God. But then she lifted her head up one time. She looked at me and says, Are you Hank, you're Sergeant Cisco? I says, yeah. She says, my father was a policeman. Oh, I says, no kid. Well, I got a conversation. I felt good, mm -hmm. see? Yeah. But in the meantime, I was depressed. After I got that uh, chemo, I got home, I was thinking, thinking of her, you know? And so. Don't put yourself in the hole. Don't dig yourself a grave. You know, you know what they say. Never take a shovel away from a guy digging himself a grave. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, your family. Tell me what else you got in your family. Who uh, else you got? I have a, um, a, a mother, father, um, sister, um, who has just recently announced that she was pregnant. So I have another addition to to the, the first family. time. This is uh, her first child. She knows what it's going to be. Uh, not yet. I believe that's going to be the next visit. I know the trend recently has been that uh, 
to not know what the sex is going to be with the uh, with the childs, but I think that she's going to go. She wants to find out. She wants to find out. That's <laughs> uh, it's from the, from what she recently told me. I believe she wants to find out, and that's uh, yeah. I, I, off, the, off the top of my head, I don't remember when that appointment is. I really wish I could remember, but I know it's coming up here soon. So it's you know, very very exciting, especially during the holiday season, to find this information out. You know, let's advance and tell you who the kid's going to be before he's born, right? <laughs> My mother, she had eight kids, four boys and four girls. Home delivery. They're all delivered in the home, not in the hospital. I, I think back, Mom, oh, my God. You know, I was born in Brooklyn in an apartment, four, story, four apartments. Uh, then uh, uh, my other brothers, one was born on West Lafayette Street. My sisters were born on Chester Street. Another was born, no, Chester. Oh, my God. So all home deliveries, mm -hmm. you know. There was no Express or what they call it, the PXX, whatever it is, you yep, know? <laughs> yeah, and a lot of the advancements that they've had, again, with medical device advancements, they, the photos that they have of uh, basically the child in the womb is, yeah. you know, they have like 3D realistic photos now. It's not just like the outline. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat to see, that, to see those things nowadays. All right, listen, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, Hank, Our thank you very much. Over, and I, I wish you luck. Thank and you. And I'm going to help you participate in this. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, my my daughter Carol works with you. That's at, correct. Uh, so at um, with a medical uh, medical uh, company. Yep. You know. So um, I, I appreciate you coming here, and I want people to be aware of their health and also of their surroundings and be happy about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for allowing us to come in. Doctors don't make uh, house calls anymore, you know, but we're coming into your house with a little information. So until we meet again. Keep bobbing and weaving, keep your trunks off the canvas, and may God bless each and every one. For my Hispanic friends, adios, amigo. Okay. <laughs> Hank, I, thank you. All right, and here's a nice little token of appreciation. I appreciate you coming here. Make sure you're putting your office. And thank here you go. A la salud. Salud. And that means to your health. Okay. <laughs> a la salud. A la salud means to your health. No.